Minecraft Live 2021 is this Saturday and we have three new mobs to vote on. The winning vote will be added to the game. This is why you should vote for each one. First up is the Glare. Looking a bit like Oscar the Grouch or a flying cabbage monster with eyes, it has an attitude problem. Fortunately, it's cute when it's angry. What really gets it going though is darkness, so keep it in well-lit areas if you don't want it getting upset. Why should you vote for the Glare? Well, as a regular player, it will alert you to light levels that are low enough to let hostile mobs spawn. And if you want to light up your base, this little buddy can help you know where some torches might be missing. Here's what my community had to say. Mighty Lewis wondered if it was tameable, or if he had to bribe it like an axolotl. MOKXV said, I'm intrigued. I think it may use the same mechanics as a parrot once tamed. Just not sure where we'll find them. I'm guessing subterranean. And Jacob's comment was that this was Minecraft's mob for people with OCD. It might drive him torch crazy. For technical players, there's nothing immediately obvious here with the glare. The second mob, however, is different, and that's the Alley. The Alley immediately became the community favourite. This one's a bit more like a friendly Vex, which is a bit of an oxymoron. Those Vex are vicious. The Alley has a love for music, specifically note blocks, and likes collecting items for you. But why should you vote for the Alley? Well, for the regular player, this seems like a way to get your precious items back to the base while you continue mining. Then you continue caving at risk of death, knowing that your most valuable items are safe. For a technical player, there are some possibilities as well for using the LA in redstone contraptions my mind is racing with ideas. But here's what the community had to say. Tufster immediately thought of a redstone door, and Tyler Hart wants his love of farming and the LA to combine. Perhaps one of the best arguments though for the LA came from DiscoBot in my last video. Haven't you ever fought a flying mob like a blaze, and when you kill it, you're like, oh man, the blaze rod fell off the side of the fortress. Well, the LA can fly down, grab those items for you and bring them back up. It sounds like a true friend to me. The third mob in the mob belt is the Copper Golem. This is yet another unique option, showing Royang's ability to come up with weird and wonderful ideas. Crafted with copper ingots and capable of pressing copper buttons, this little buildable friend will eventually oxidize and freeze up, no longer being functional. So we have three options. Which one are you voting for and why? See you in the comments.